Hello, by the end of this tutorial, we'll have you up and running broadcasting live internet radio using Virtual DJ. Really straightforward and easy to get set up. Um, I've got some, uh, just one song loaded into this as a demo, okay, and we're ready to start playing music. But at the moment, I've got it paused, and what we're going to do is we're going to use radio.co, which is an internet radio platform allows you to set up and manage your internet radio station really easily without any kind of technical know-how. And as you can see here, we've got a broadcast uh, bar, DJ bar, which explains there's no DJ currently connected. Okay, So what we need to do is we need to send a signal from Virtual DJ to the system. Our show is actually due to begin in 42 minutes, Okay, so even when we connect, you can show up and connect an hour before your show actually is due to start but no one's going to be able to hear anything until the point of the show actually beginning if that makes sense um but it's always a good idea to show up 10 minutes in advance uh, the cool thing about radio.co is you can you know you can actually invite other people onto uh, your station you can invite other djs to broadcast live and give them scheduled time slots at which they can do so which is really awesome right um, the three fields we need to connect are these the host the port the password these are unique to my account Okay, so all of your other DJs will have slightly different bits of information they need to connect than you do. So if you click on these, they get copied to your clipboard. Really straightforward to then transfer them into the software. So the, the way you actually configure Virtual DJ to broadcast is you click record and then you choose broadcast from this side menu here. Um, we can click config and as you can see, there's a load of different options here. Firstly, we need to enable auto start. So basically it will start streaming start broadcasting as soon as we're playing music we're then going to choose shoutcast mp3 and we're going to select 128k which is equivalent to cd quality so our listeners will get a nice crisp clear audio all right the next option we need to go for is the broadcast to a server and we can paste in the first information bit of information which we copied which was the host name which in this case is transcoder1.radio.co, which will be unique to your account. Port, again, we're going to copy that, and we'll paste it in the corresponding port field within Virtual DJ. Our name, this is completely up to you. Uh, I'm just going to call my show James's show. doesn't really matter. And next up, the password. Again, we, uh, we can copy this in from the... Uh, the control panel onto virtual DJ and once we're all set and um, we're happy with that make, make sure that there's no spaces at the beginning of the end of any of the fields we click on OK and this is the same procedure for any internet radio server that you might come across all right so we're now broadcasting live as you can hear the music's playing in the background and we're ready to uh, broadcast we're ready for our listeners to start listening to our show as I mentioned because we're still counting down here Listeners won't be able to hit anything until this timer hits zero. However, when it does hit zero, the reverse will happen. It will then start telling you how long we've got left on your show. Um, as you can see, on the radio.co control panel, uh, our connected connection status is green, which means it's receiving a connection from us. Let's say um, during my show, I lose my internet connection or the software crashes. So if I just quit virtual DJ, what will actually happen in this case is you'll see the status option goes grey again, no DJ connected. Listeners won't get chucked out, however. Um, what it'll do is it'll just revert back to the playlist, whatever has been scheduled, um, so they'll never get any dead air, which is awesome, right? And then if it's still during your show, you can just come back and connect again. They probably won't even know anything had happened, which is great. So radio.co is a brilliant platform. If you're thinking about starting and setting up and running your own online radio station, it makes it a breeze to do, and it's perfect for DJs to share their work with. You can get a free trial, just hit on try.radio.co and plans start from less than a dollar a day, so it's really inexpensive. Thanks very much for watching. If you've got any questions, we are happy to answer them. You can email us on studio at radio.co. Bye for now.